This is a Florida cottonmouth. It's actually found in every county of Florida. But uh, water moccasins in general are, are from the southeastern United States. They range all the way north to um, southern Illinois and west into Texas. bite from a water moccasin is, is, is not necessarily fatal. Uh, they, they usually don't kill people, but, but the damage they do to your tissue is just amazing. Uh, and, and the pain is even worse. It, it, it feels, I was bitten once and it felt like somebody inserted a red hot rod through the center of my arm. That, that, that's the pain. Uh, it, it, it causes second, kind of like second degree burns. It actually just dissolves and destroys your tissue. It's really, really a bad bite is the bad news, but the good news, it won't necessarily kill you. Water moccasin bite in the hand. You can see slight discoloration in this area with all the bruising, um, but overall the bite is gonna heal up pretty good. I have a tolerance system, so basically I shouldn't have any problems with the uh, bite as it is right now. Here when the fang penetrate, hit the vein, and then the venom shot up the arm this way, went down my spinal column, and I knew I got an intravenous injection. Most bites on a first time basis with a snake like this, it would cause necrosis. Uh, in the area of the bite site, all this tissue would rot away. There'd be blistering all over the hand. The arm would swell. Well, infections could set in, you could lose the arm, the hand, uh, you could wind up with such massive swelling, get compartmental syndrome, where they'll have to do a fasciotomy and cut all the tissue open to relieve the pressure. The bite of a water moccasin can be extremely tissue damaging uh, um, and I've known people who've lost fingers and, and, and parts of their hand and, and, and have extremely uh, uh, terrible scars after um, recovery from a bite from one of these. So, so they do destroy and damage an awful lot of tissue. They might, have, they might have lost the hand or the use of the thumb or the hand could have become paralyzed. The use of the hand could lose the thumb. Um, or, you know, could even wind up an infection and lose the arm. What happened now to your hand? I mean, it just the swelling will just disappear? How long does it take until the Yeah, swelling? the bruising should go away, the swelling will go down, and it'll look like nothing ever happened. There won't even be a scar. Is it common to have a um, water moccasin bite? Take a full impact bite with a water moccasin and not even leave a scar? Yeah. It's pretty rare. I don't know anybody who ever has. Have you ever been bitten by a water magazine before? Three times. This was a full impact fight. This snake got me what all he could ever give. So there was a lot of venom injected. There was, um, you know, a lot of thrust behind the bite. So this 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 could have been a lot worse than what it really is. Cottonmouths are immune to their own venom. This guy actually bit himself, and, and I don't have to worry about it. Adult alligators, I'm sure, will take a, a cottonmouth, 
Uh, birds of prey are pretty good, uh, efficient predators of cottonmouths, and bigger cottonmouths will eat smaller ones. And I'm sure king snakes would eat them. So cottonmouths do have their share of predators. 